hello in this session, I will walk you through setting up an ePortfolio, the proper ePortfolio. So I'm sharing my screen with you, which of course I'm open up the LaGuardia's website, LaGuardia website, here, here we are. And through my LaGuardia, again, just like in the previous session, we've gone through my LaGuardia students and log in with the same credentials. If you are lost or anything, you see there's this uh, login instructions and let's log in. In your case, this box, the e-tools, will appear on the right, right here in this area. But the most important thing is for you to focus, concentrate on ePortfolio, click on ePortfolio. So since I'm no longer a student, uh, it opens uh, ePortfolio for me through my faculty email, which I need to log in. But in your case, you may be directed to ePortfolio, this page, okay? Also, again, just like pay attention to details, not too many details, like don't get distracted that I have plenty of boxes or names or server in here, no. Just like make sure that you have this D, which is the ePortfolio is provided by Digication, like your name and you know, and the ePortfolio logo. And more importantly, this plus sign in the blue circle. Okay, if not, which happened in uh, our previous class, some students, since they opened the report for the first time, they didn't have this. They had a box, kind of looked like a, a briefcase or a, or a gift box or a lock or something. So they clicked on it and they moved. And finally, they had plus sign, okay? So, what we'll focus is that we make sure that we are in the ePortfolio page, like pre looking around. We have the logo, we have the digication uh, sign, and the plus sign. If not, we click on that lock or the, whatever the, uh, the briefcase or or, or, or gift box, whatever you name it or you recognize it as, click on it, move on, and we won't create an ePortfolio, okay? So that is the point. Here I am, clicking on it. So it takes me to create your ePortfolio page. Okay, right here, uh, I'll write my full name. And if my section is HSF, I write HSF. And if my section is uh, CJF, okay, it is, you, you have to be like aware of what is going on, what class you're taking, the code, it is important. HSF, CJF, the first year class, or LIF, maybe liberal arts, okay? Then, like for the sake of the uh, video, because I'm, I'm recording a new one for many sections, I'm just like writing FYS, which is the, the generic first year seminar, okay? Then just like look around, and if your major is health science, HSF, click on it. When you click on it, you are going to have the halo, the highlight, and it says this, you see? then click on create. If you have, if you have a computer science, click on it and create. 
if you are, uh, let's say, criminal justice, click on it, create. If you are liberal arts, math and science, social science, just like make the distinction, okay? Social science, click on it, okay? Uh, so do not get confused because some students were using their Mac and they were following the steps through their Safari, uh, which is the default browser for Mac. And this most likely won't be working in Safari. So you better have Chrome. And if not, Firefox. Not even an Edge, not even uh, Internet Explorer, okay? So the point is, you'll be just clicking on your majors. Like whatever your major and the class you're taking. Um, I was surprised like some of the students even uh, weren't aware of like what is their code or something. Like get used to the, these things, HSF, CJF, the F is the first year, HS is health science, and CS is computer science, CJ is criminal justice, stuff like that, okay? So after that, after that, uh, in my case, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna uh, do, okay, let's, let, let me do the, um, HSF, then we'll see, create. When I click on it, it takes a while. Like we need to wait sometimes 10 seconds, about two, two minutes for it to open up, but we need to wait. Okay. And also if you're operating through your Chromebook, the computer, it takes a while. So it took me like half an hour to work with a couple of students because they were uh, going through their, like, their only option was the Chromebook, okay? And also, you see, gives me a, uh, gives me a warning, it takes a while, but we make sure that like it's covering everything, just like, scroll down and look around, see what's going on, stuff like that. Meanwhile, you could check, just like see what's going on, get acquainted with, with the pages and sub pages about me, plan for success, they're all nice. Here we are, about a minute. So it gives me the ultimate template. So it gives me all the stuff like the tabs, the pages, whatever. The second and most important, step we must go through is from this corner the right top click on publish pages otherwise nobody is able to see our e-portfolio okay and we make sure everything is like checked green sometimes it's white but first when you do it first time it's all green and click on publish Okay, then save settings and wait. This is the second step. And the third step is just come here. Again, settings and from private right here change it to private within Queenie LaGuardia Community College. Why? Because your classmates, 
your professors can see it right with it. So the first one, change it from private to private within CUNY. See, it was private to me. Now it's private within CUNY level. And the second, right from here, this corner, edit. We are going to save, share our ePortfolio with the class. So therefore, we need to enter our class codes. So I will just show you like how class codes will show up. So is you in your uh, Blackboard or CUNY first, those first year, year seminar courses must have class code, okay? So I will show you like how to find them. I'm gonna, because I save them in my docs, but in your case, it's in your syllabus, whatsoever. So I check them out from this, uh, which is the class code, uh, as you see, the code between the parentheses. So I'm just like uh, highlight this one. See, it's kind of going slow. You see, this 40A is 45. So check them out and come back here. I'm just pasting it and wait a bit. You see the lecture hour pops up, click on it. Okay, so it's open now for faculty and students. And the second one, I'm just like pasting the same, but for the lab, instead of 45, the last is going to be six. So please do not get confused with the course. It is your job to go to your Blackboard or 21st, find that your first year seminar class and find that core between the parentheses, okay? Which is the lab. So this is just an example, but the most important thing is here uh, to have like four. It could be like your code, it could be HSF something else, 441, and with different code. Or could be CJF, could be CSF, okay? Yeah, please be aware of the difference. I'm just like showing you like instead of uh, recording myself like many times, just once, but it is your job to find your code, this code, and have it like for one, two, three, four, then save settings. Okay, nowadays, um, ePortfolio was just updated. They came up with great uh, uh, kind of features and etc. Therefore, it's giving us some problems. You see, I was patient. It gave me like there was a problem. I just waited. I clicked on save settings. So uh, patience is virtue. Therefore, like you need to wait. You need to make sure that uh, you share it with, with the class. So this is the second assignment. We'll come back to the about me and other options later because I don't wanna prolong the video and get you confused, but I want you, uh, I want you to get going, which is open up and like saving up an e-portfolio. So after that, like once like you share your e-portfolio, I can see in my in my the classes uh, e-portfolio section. I won't be opening up because I don't want your name to be in there. But this is it. Okay. Uh, so I will just end the session and. So this one was just about creating an e-portfolio, setting up uh, your e-portfolio and uh, publishing it and sharing it with the class, okay?